to our Tuesday morning prayer time. I hope there are people listening. You've not all gone ducking to blue water this morning. And you're very welcome this morning. Dear Father, quieten our minds, still our hearts, for your living, for your living ways are all we seek. Strengthen our lives, inspire our spirits, in your living waters flow endlessly, endless grace. Amen. As we gather here in the harbour of your safety, we thank you for fellowship and family. We ask that you will strengthen us, restore us and inspire us with your love. Lord, would you fill us with your presence and your peace, so that as we journey onwards, we would pour out your love and grace to others. We ask that our souls would catch the wind of your spirit, so that we can take your promises to all the earth. Amen. I'm going to read Psalm 47 this morning. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. For the Lord Most High is awesome, the great King over all the earth. He subdued nations under us, people under our feet. He chose our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loved. God has ascended amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid the sounding of trumpets. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is a king of all the earth. Sing to him a psalm of praise. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble as a people of God of Abraham. For the kings of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. And I'm going to read Matthew 8, 16 to 17. It's headed many healed in the evening. When evening came, they brought to him many who were demon possessed, and he cast out spirits with a word, and healed all that were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah, Isaiah and the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our sickness. And our prayers of intercession. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, the giver of all good gifts, we come before you today. We offer our praise and give thanks for your blessings to us. Forgive us that too often we are more ready to turn to you in times of trouble and need, rather than to thank you in good times, the times that we enjoy. As we go about our daily lives, teach us to be thankful for every precious minute of time. Help us not to take for granted your gift of life itself, our health and strength, the love and support of family and friends, the beauty and the vastness of your creation. Lord, you have given us so much. Help us to give you something in return, the love of our hearts, a willingness to serve you and a readiness to share your love with others. We pray for your blessing to rest upon our church. We are grateful for, our, for the worship and the fellowship, for its nurture and for its love. Help us to have a vision to see the kind of church you deserve in the world today. And may we never lose sight of the many and varied needs of our own neighbourhood. May we always be found willing and able to help others whenever we can. And today a prayer for Her Majesty the Queen. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ exchanged the glory of a heavenly throne for the form of a servant, we thank you that you have given Elizabeth our Queen a heart to serve her people and have kept her devoted in service beyond all who were before her. Encourage us by her example to serve one another and to seek the common good until you call us all to reign with Christ in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, we pray today for families. Make your loving presence felt amongst them all, 
especially those for whom family life is difficult and testing. Be with those who have no family to care for them. Comfort those whose children cause on worry or heartache. Strengthen those whose children are in danger. We remember today all children and young people as they prepare to go back to school. Lord, keep them cut calm and keep them safe. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are less fortunate than ourselves. Those who live in developing countries and countries where there is little stability. We pray for all people, wherever they may be, who struggle to find freedom from oppression. Teach us to be ever mindful of those in the world who are weary with a relentless struggle to keep alive. For those who can never look forward to a good meal and a comfortable bed. Those who barely have the necessities of life, which we often take for granted. Lord God, all merciful, we pray for all who face difficulties in their personal lives. For those who are sick, the bereaved, those who have problems in their families, in their friendships, in their neighbourhoods, in their workplace. Help us all to be calm in times of uncertainty, patient with those around us, and steadfast in knowledge that you share each and every moment, each and every emotion with us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we pray for those whom we have loved but see no longer. Grant them your peace and let light perpetually shine upon them. Lord Jesus is the light of the world, a light which no darkness can quench. Remember before God, all those who have died, in a moment of silence, we can name them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers <clears throat> for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we say the Lord's Prayer together. <clears throat> our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Come unto me, our gentlest words ere breathed in human ear. I am thy Saviour and thy Lord. Dear child, thou needst not fear. Come unto me in sorrow's hour, when life seems dark and drear. I'll shield thee from the tempter's power. Dear child, thou needst not fear. Come unto me when hopes have flown, like leaves wind swept and sear. When every joy thou mates bemoan, dear child, thou needst not fear. Come unto me, I'll give thee rest, will wipe away each tear. Come lean upon my breast, dear child, thou needst not fear. Father, we thank you for the marvellous things you have done today. We thank you for your love that you have revealed to us and for the love that we share together as your body. We pray for the words that you have sown into our hearts today. Watch over them, protect them. May they take root and produce wonderful things, things of beauty and great blessings to many. As we go through this week, thank you that you walk with us. May we be alert to your word and live in your endless love. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory in the age and forevermore. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. The Lord keep us safe in his loving, caring, gentle arms. Amen.
thank you very much for joining me this morning. Stay safe. See you.